Today we're going to be talking about the basic methods of air defrost you'll run across in a refrigeration system. Air defrost typically can only be, a, be done when a box temperature is above 34 degrees because if the box temperature is set below 34, there's not enough heat in the air for that, for that evaporator to defrost the frost off of it as it accumulates basically when it's going through its refrigeration cycle to pull the heat out of the box. So basically when we look at that, we have to go through and figure out some way to get that, def get that frost off that evaporator. So using air defrost to above 34 degrees, we do have potentially enough heat in the air for it to do this in an off cycle. So first, we're going to talk about the off-cycle. An off-cycle defrost basically is done by the evaporator with the thermostat. And when the thermostat is satisfied, basically it would de-energize the liquid line solenoid valve, taking the unit into pump down and shut off. And during that time, without the refrigerant being circulated in the evaporator, that would give it time for that warmer air that's coming back across to assist for that evaporator for the frost to come off. If sometimes you'll come across, when you look at the condensing unit, you might see a time clock in that condensing unit. That would be a force to defrost. And that time clock then would be set in with a number of pins around per the day of how many defrosts it would force that evaporator into to pump the unit down and force the air across and keep that air across. The evaporator fans, typically on this one being two speed, when it goes into that, would go into a low speed situation, still maintaining air across the evaporator. So basically what would happen is in, in normal defrost operation without the time clock, you would see when this evaporator goes into its off cycle time, it would be normal with a two speed evaporator fan motor for it to go into low speed during the off cycle. But if it has the time clock, which would force it into a manual defrost, then that evaporator with a two speed motor would be in high speed.